Rajini, you can start. Very good evening, one and all present here. Self-discovery is the process of understanding your true self, your values, your needs and wants, even the food choices. You might have naturally learned some of these things about yourself over time. Yet a lot of people, we have a way of losing touch with our values and hiding our own self-motivation and preferences, even from ourselves. Going deeper into self-discovery can transform your life. Here I am going to share my experiences of life transformation. I wholeheartedly welcome you all for my self-discovery 2.0 on this pleasant evening. Dear God, uh, thank you for your goodness and faithfulness in my life. Thank you for refreshing and renewing my heart. Fill me with your peace. Fill me with your strength. Help me to do good and stand firm until I see my harvest of blessings. Thank you. My sincere gratitude to Ratna Swami sir, Suresh sir, Bartika ma'am, Grinda ma'am and Kritika ma'am for their knowledge sharing and motivation. <clears throat> my heartfelt thanks to Mrs. Punita and Mr. Eniaman for showing me the path and helping me realize my Ikikai. As you all see, my UID is R2, R2, R1, R1, R2, R1, R2, R2, R1, R1. This is an earth personality, the element of earth, the real mother. The real mother is the soil that we carry as our bodies. Whenever we eat food, we swallow a part of earth. The element of earth doesn't cooperate with us. We are not getting anywhere. The very body that we carry right now has been millions of bodies in the past. Soil is not a commodity. Uh, it's older, wiser, uh, far more intelligent and capable than us. Since I am 100% reflective in nature with intuition, I can understand beyond limits, I believe. When it comes to people, Imagination of earth, they think that it is the only ball of sand, but that's where we all start and end our journey. This colorful mother is so powerful. Uh, even if people think it's just a, a sand, but other ways to see it, just like there are different varieties of sand, stones, clays, rocks, and much more. It's just like the variations in R1, R2, and R3. When it comes to my personality, I'm rock solid in my decisions. Though myself and nature is a bit low, my thirst to serve the society is high. I don't have any ego to do anything for myself. But when it comes to helping others, I would volunteer to do it. And that in turn is what makes my soul satisfied. Even I'm team, if I uh, in my team, I, if I'm doing all the work and get credit for something, I will just pass it on to my teams just to see them happy so that I will be happy too. And that's where I see my self low as a positive one. Since all my lobes are reflective in nature, uh, there is no conflict between any lobes. Though there is uh, less energy in total, it is equally distributed to all the lobes. So there is a well balance in the brain lobe, whole brain. My overall uh, report says that my left and right brain is mostly balanced. Because of the balance, uh, my harmony index is also 97.07. Because of my intuitions, I get to read the situations of the WH questions, uh, when to do, uh, wh what to do, where to do, and uh, so on. Because of my high adaptiveness and blessings of my great nurturing, I was to grow myself in a great manner. Because of my auditory learning, I love to hear a lot of audios and videos to nurture myself. I think understanding of my mind is a bit easier because of my... Uh, I, uh, my both and uh, left and right processing is speed is normal. So when I am about to take any decision, I think twice. But by any chance it went wrong, I will accept my consequences and try to make it right one. 
i think it's because of my highest energy is in the prefrontal cortex my music smart and uh, cosmic smart are high and i am interactive in nature i think understanding of mind is bit easier because of my sq and cosmic is high my creativity is also equally high because of this creativity i get a lot of life changing ideas which will take to uh, other places and i have experienced it overall my personality is enfp personality uh, on a whole i am very imaginative uh, creative uh, loving caring insightful and service oriented my self discovery 1.0 has explained about me vividly to discuss about my um, family uh, this is myself and husband daughter 1 and daughter 2 uh to discuss about my husband's uh, report he's 60% affective 20% reflective and 20% cognitive being highest energy in the temporal lobe c3 c3 he will always be preoccupied with something or the other in the mind since prefrontal is uh, a1 a1 energy is lower than the temporal uh, there always uh, there will be an idea but when it comes to an execution it will be a problem also because of the moderate processor and also thoughtful and uh, patience is very high for him now after taking gpp he is awarefully pushing him to do uh, things occipital lobe being the second highest he will be able to grasp things faster when it comes to videos and visuals being sensory uh, he can't understand non verbal communications about my elder daughter uh, he, she is uh, 60% affective and 40% uh, reflective she is a focused learner auditory is high in her sensory learning she is very obedient and listen to everyone she is a right brainer Art, uh, her artistic skill is phenomenal uh, she has been taking training in the field past 7 years now she has got so many certificates and medals for that her adaptiveness is also high when it comes to extracurricular uh, she performs everything and anything and everything uh, her energy in the right temporal and uh, right occipital are high Uh, when it comes to multiple intelligences music smart is the highest one and she is the interactive person also she is very uh, creative she is a great speaker and good reader too when it comes to three of us we are not any different i am intuitive and they both are sensory enfp uh, personality and they both are esfp personality but god blessed us with different bundle of joy that is my younger daughter you can see her uh, uid Uh, R1 X3, R2 X1, A1 R1, A1 X3, A1 A1. Being a parenting coach, I got a very positive, challenging role to nurture my daughter. I see it as a pure blessing to nurture with Minna family. The things that I have noticed in her is she is very affectionate and very possessive when it comes to me. That is because of the right frontal X1. Highest energy is in the occipital lobe. so that she is very organized when it comes to her things maybe it's a uh, bookshelf or uh, things uh, dress or anything because of the left temporal is high i could see her uh, handwriting is very good and since she is a left brainer her presentation uh, technology skill uh, she is just now uh, she is 9 years old uh, she'll do ppt very nicely uh, storytelling is more than perfect i see her interest in robotics and after seeing the potential in gpp i have enrolled her in robotic class her parietal energy is also good that's why her hands are always busy with doing some or the other thing activities like art work or craft anything because of the occipital lobe she likes to watch videos and replicate things she is a good dance western dancer also uh, she likes skating silambam and uh, gymnastics kind of sports she is very sensitive that she can sense our mind and understand our unspoken words she is more analytical uh, that she always compares everything with her sister or friends as a convergent thinker uh, she always thinks about the root cause of the problem if i blame anything immediately she will get angry and say i am the problem yes i am the problem and comes to a conclusion because of the right brain fast processor mood swings are always there at times but never try to console i will patiently wait allow her to let out her emotions since her uh, left temporal x3 
and the right brain brain processor is fast she either start uh, talking from the middle and from the end when we uh, when we have to ask her uh, something we have to ask what where and uh, all the wh questions very clean neat and uh, pre planning is very very good left brainer uh, 56.96% left brainer and 86% convergent as 57% task and technology she is a goal oriented and uh, skills are 36.78 so it clearly shows uh, shows that uh, she is a perfectionist in her work uh, not a people oriented person her potential in secondary shows 19.23 but as of now she is the topper in the class she is very logical Uh, have we explain uh, something to her matters a lot very expressive in all her emotions here is some photos of her uh, her handwriting uh, her extracurricular activities and uh, here is a small video of hi everyone my name is pradhi kaya i want to narrate a story nana the cow nana the cow lives with her friends in a big barn She likes to visit new places. She likes flowers so much. One day Nana walked away from the farm. Away from the farm. She found a field with full of flowers, pretty flowers. So she decided to spend the day there. She smelled the flower flowers and heard the birds chirping and ate some green grass. She felt drowsy. So she decided to take a short nap. When she woke up, it was dark. She was worried how to go back to her farm. She walked and walked, but she couldn't find her friends. Suddenly, she heard a bark, bow, bow. It was it was Dolly the dog from her farm. She uh, he said, uh, we missed you. Uh, follow me to the farm. she is a western dancer western dance photos and yoga practice and activities crafts arts to conclude uh, after gbb i came to know why she is the way she is and now i realized uh, we have to respect the uh, processor even in the child we should uh, we should not ignore them she is now 9 years old i never scolded or beaten her till now i try to accept everything as it is now only sensory x3 is working a uh, prefrontal x3 and a frontal x1 will take some more years to show their power in uh, both lobes before the x there is r1 and r2 so i think uh, she can take uh, data from which is already stored uh, it is a boon for nurturing uh, her overall personality is istj i'm sure i can handle this child better to prove my ability this is our uh, family of uh, five uh, daddy uh, mom is no more brother and sister and myself in our family of five uh, both myself and my brother looks like dad the same way uid also proves that i'm 100% reflective but dad is 60% affective and 40% reflective my brother is 60% affective and 30% reflective and 10% cognitive my sister has x1 in the right temporal maybe it was uh, hailed from my mother she is no more actually uh, though, though we, we both looks like dad my dad and sister's personality matches the most mother has x1 uh, this is my sister's family actually uh, she is working as a nurse and uh, his son mother and son mother has x1 in the right temporal and son has x1 in the temporal right temporal and right frontal because both of them have x1 in the le uh, left temporal communication becomes a hard part when her son was in uh, teenage she gone through lot of adamancy problem with her son because of the uh, right temporal x1 she had some emotional handling problems both had a lot of conflicts in day to day life since both they both have the same x1 in the same temporal they forget everything at the end of the day and be normal both their personality are of good match as age grows now he is able to understand things and now is very affectionate to his mother 
since right temporal is x1 feelings towards people are not shown outside he was hesitant to connect to people before nowadays he can uh, see a lot of uh, changes with him he is a uh, vignesh rs he is a uh, left brainer 56.22 convergent thinker both the processor are fast task and technology is 56.91 technical uh, engineering and even computer science are high he is now studying mechanical engineering but now he is doing intern in software company even there is there he can able to do it so well word logic nature and cosmic are high iq and sq are the highest among all in riasec model it shows software data science a uh, technical designing uh, te uh, technical services and project leader are good and the entrepreneur suitability index is also reasonably good i asked him to do some homework to balance the disk sub triads patience thoughtfulness and patient uh, persistence are very low this is my brother's family a brother as wife daughter and son their family of four and each one is different in their own way wife is very much into negativity and fear over that she has an insecure feeling every time when it comes to family she is always in pressure and not having a proper plan she is a left brainer so that when it comes to a profession uh, she is a perfectionist because of the d3 d1 in the prefrontal which triggers confusion negative feelings uh, doubt unacceptance and multidimensional thinking and exaggeration is also involved left brain with moderate processor in the right she will be doubting on people and there will be a delay in decision making since occipital visual lobes high the desk work at office will be very perfect as the husband uh, has prefrontal r1 he will be absorbing all the negativity and sensitivities the daughter is basically an introvert but as of now only sensory lobes are working it would seem like uh, that she is an extrovert she is excellent in singing dancing communicating with others everything son is having x1 in the left frontal this is her report my sister in law's report d3 d1 c3 c3x c2 c3x c2 c1x c3 a2 questions that were uh, was an answered uh, when i was in counseling uh, she is ca by profession uh, she is working in a public limited concern she asked now i am 43 would i be able to practically uh, practice privately after my retirement since there is no pension for her as her uh, esi is 78 a uh, percent i told her you will be able to practice your profession but this clearly depicts her uh, insecurity because of her ex small ex she will be having fear over uh, strangers and will be choosy while uh, making friends the homework that i advised her to do is meditation to calm down her mi mind but it's very difficult i know the nature walk yoga practice uh, the important reason to ask her to go for a walk is because it will neutralize the upper body energy her parietal energy is very high and often beat her children she was even asked to do gratitude journaling so that she can overcome the negative thoughts over a period of time her overall personality is istj here is her feedback hello everyone my name is susmita um, the genetic brain profiling or genetic brain mapping was explained to us by ms rajini she is my sister in law my husband's sister uh, the concept was something new and we got an insight a little bit peek into the vast dimensions of this unexplored area of brain mapping we knew how to deal with our children how to deal specifically with our elder one with our young child uh, she mentioned about our personal strengths uh, where do we lack where do we need to stop to think to act we could understand ourselves better in fact it also paves the way to seek out the best in us with the given positivities and given limitations 
uh, we could also understand what motivates us what puts us off what gives us more encouragement mm, uh, thank you rajni for showing us the path for a betterment both for us as well as our children i'm sure this is a very uh, unexplored uh, area uh, to understand this could potentially be used as a tool to understand um, what is there inside our brain what is there inside us so we could understand we could uh, make use of it for our future make use of it for our betterment make use of it for the betterment of our children's lives thank you so much rajni uh, we wish you all the best in our all future interviews um thank you this is our son aditya has uh, his uh, uad is c3c3 x1 a2 c3c3 c3c3 c3c1 uh, this aditya and uh, my daughter younger daughter prakriti are uh, same age and uh, uh, he is having x1 in the right frontal all other lobes are cognitive he is a right brainer with left and right processes are uh, fast logics will not work very brilliant and get the answer to get the answer or solution to a any problem he is very energetic he will not sit in one place even while doing homework he will roam around a risk taking mentality is very high independence is 1.61 very much uh, feeling oriented person he has lot of great ideas uh, he is a very big dreamer very adamant to get things which is which he wants visual is 3 c3 and c1 so whatever he sees uh, if he if he wants he will get it his mom's uh, logic mind doesn't work with him having c3x she can't manage him sometimes a2 in right frontal is a boon for nurturing very interesting thing about him and my daughter is he is having x1 in the right frontal and my daughter is having x1 in the left frontal they both are excited to do things together both will be very active and listens to each other i think she can see what he can't and he can see what she she is not able to maybe because of that the intimacy or compassion or uh, love for each other is very good uh, x3 in temporal uh, sometimes if she struggles to convey some plans or uh, something they both have discussed he will come to me and clearly explains what they wanted to convey he is a clear communicator c3 in left temporal he is very calculative about money now itself here is one more family he is a uh, brother in law's family and co sister uh, he is 70% cognitive and 30% affective she is 60% affective and 40% cognitive with x2 in the right frontal we both live in a different cities actually we are living in coimbatore and they are in uh, another city so there were only limited time to know each other and uh, chit chat so whenever there is something to take a decision or their inputs or their activities uh, i felt i could um, what to say uh, i could uh, think why they are thinking like this why they are uh, doing like this like that before gpp gpp is a blessing to understand the brain designs and for the acceptance also husband has both processes moderate and the wife has both processes fast always she wanted to take family decisions fast and he will analyze to the core before taking any decision it becomes actually late his right um, parietal c3 and uh, sorry right prefrontal c3 and her a3 in right parietal is a great combo i would say they both will uh, give same amount of importance to purchase the dresses or uh, ornaments etc they both want to be presentable they desire to buy branded things because of the x2 in right frontal c3 in right uh, right temporal combo is very conflicting c3 is attached feeling oriented and x2 will not allow her to express it emotions handling is very tough but the process both the processes are fast she herself understand the impulsive nature leads to her uh, some problems right temporal c3 very possessive about her family music intelligence with parietal uh, a3 uh, she will utilize her voice beautifully 
because of this x2 in the uh, right frontal she had gone through the detachment very often from this disc subtraits it is evident that how as a family one can help each other and balance their life her thoughtfulness is low uh, self confidence is high when it comes to her husband uh, thoughtfulness is high and self confidence is low her self motivation is uh, high and patience is low when it comes to him patience is high and self motivation is low exactly opposite in the independence also is high for her and uh, cooperation is low but for him cooperation is high and uh, independence is low enthusiasm is high and accuracy is low for her and for him enthusiasm is low and accuracy is by and by understanding this way we can able to add more value to each other this is one of my cousin's family uh, he is my mentee in some other business he is having c3x in left, left frontal and x3 capital x3 in the right frontal is both in a same lobe right 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 frontal and left frontal or uh, capital x and small x this combo is new to me after all i know about him his unspoken words and his behavior when it comes to his family are only discussed while interpretation c3x giving family attachment and x3 is detachment pain or pressure uh, he is feeling it uh, triple times both of them have left frontal c3 money is very important uh, right temporal a3 for him helps to talk nicely to people most of the places son is matching with dad's personality son is just 2 and a half years old mom is having c3 c3 in the temporal it always uh, preoccupies with the mind with some or the other thoughts prefrontal is a1 a1 in execution there will be a struggle and that makes her feel always stressed uh this is uh, his id uid c3 c1 c3 x x3 a1 a3 c3 a3 a1 a1 he is a left brainer with 56% left is a moderate processor and right is the fast processor when it comes to office he is very perfect in completing his task give more importance to work when it comes to family he is struggling to take right decisions c3x in left frontal plays a major role in his confusion a1 a3 in the parietal physical appearance easy to connect with people a3 in the right temporal whatever he thinks he can deliver it very nicely he was discussing a lot about his personal problems and uh, we were discussing what uh, uh, small x and capital x combo have done i asked him to give some importance to balance the Uh, disc subtraits his sensitivity is too high 2.03 self confidence is 1.79 motivation is 1.98 because of this low patience and thoughtfulness he is already facing lot of family issues we were discussed and he was really happy to know more details of detailing parts of his brain lobes his overall personality is istj left brainer goal oriented high task and technology but uh, he is in the right career actually with c3 c1 in the right prefrontal his execution is also good he is doing great in his jobs let's hear from him hi good evening uh, i am only krishnan i am an it profession by profession uh, my wife karan mai she also an it profession uh, we have a two and a half years old son his name kailas um so i would like to share my experience and testimonial uh, about gpp genetic brain profiling which is a scientific method of knowing yourself so when i heard it uh, recently from one of my cousin sister uh, mrs rajni kadirvel from coimbatore when she explained um, i have immediately grabbed it because i understood that the benefit of um, gpp Uh, how it is going to leverage the information and how it is going to uh, help you for your future drive so it was a fantastic program and it is uh, i i have i had gone through uh, many of the testimonial and websites uh, all this information and um, i have i'm clear about that it is a proven mechanism that you are knowing yourself not only for you and your child as well so it was a fantastic program so we have gone through the procedures and uh, we have recently got the output 
I mean the prints uh, from um, uh, my sister. So she explained me in detail. So uh, the ultimate things which I would like to uh, um, share with you is like, so she even though she knows me uh, from the childhood, like uh, who I am, and even my wife was sitting with, along with me when we were uh, discussing the um, output. So even though they know about me in detail, but whatever they knew me, it was almost 70 to 80 percentage. So I, I would like to uh, share you like you know, two phases, like she was talking about my physical phase, like you know how I am looking like and how I talk and how I interact with people and what is my character all about. That is an external part, like you can, any, any of you uh, have, you know, anyone can um, talk about based on the relationship and con conversation with the person. But she was, based on the report, she was talking about my internal uh, fact, like uh, what is my character all about and how I think and what kind of, um, you know, uh, thought process I am going through. Uh, and what kind of nature I am basically. So these things were uh, new to my, sis uh, my sister and of course my wife as well. So even though I am I'm, I used to share so many things with my wife and uh, of course she is my uh, cousin sisters. But you know um, the basic thing like uh, who I am the internal insights of me like what kind of thought process I, I usually carry forward in daily basis. It was an amazing. So according to me, the GBP program was um, fantastic. It gave me a 200% of result, I can say that. And, um, you know, I'm thankful to GBP program. Moreover, I am fortunate to have that. What uh, it was, uh, you know, I mean, what the GBP um, leverage your information as per your career or your character, everything. So I'm basically living in that phases. So I felt very happy. So we recently uh, performed the procedures for my son. He is a two and a half years old. We are eagerly look, look, waiting for the response because it helps the people to know about your child who how he is who uh, who he is and uh, how he will operate and how can you operate him for future and all. So. It is basically like you are buying a car and uh, the engine is basically designed for petrol and uh, without knowing GBP, so you will be uh, trying to uh, fill the fuel like a diesel or uh, CNG etc. So it is like, you know, um, it is helping you. The, uh, what I would like to convey here is like GBP program uh, is helping you to convey um the future and it is it reduce your uh, work so it basically like you know um you know your how your child is and it is easily for it, it is easily for you to drive him so i would like to thank um, mr rajini and of course the program and uh, I'm, I'm already started referring to my friends and uh, it's not just for uh, referring somebody for uh, my sister's benefit it is real. Uh, I, I personally understood I am helping the person to know about him and his uh, family. So this program is absolutely fantastic. So I really like and uh, thank you so much. And uh, we are following that um, uh, output. So it is a lifetime program. Thank you. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Yeah, this is my self transformation. Enthusiasm uh, should reduce enthusiasm while talking to others uh, so that I don't regret the commitments I gave uh, them when I was in enthusiasm. Right? Procrastination, uh, now pushing myself with awareness to do things at the earliest. And uh, third point is uh, Ikigai. I found my Ikigai through GPP and feeling very happy about it. I used to message Punita ma'am after every counseling done about the experience and the satisfaction. Uh, happiness gives temporary satisfaction, but satisfaction gives permanent happiness. This is my family transformation. Ladies are the relationship builders, pillars of the family, right? By understanding every brain designs of the family and extended family, 
i'm able to connect so well communication becomes a very easy task before i used to think why they do uh, why they act like this like that but now after the gbp i'm able to figure out why they are the way they are gbp is a blessing to lead a happier and understanding family this is my social transformation as a parenting coach i used to teach parents to do gentle parenting now i understood that whatever i preach to others are generalized things which may or may not work for for all but now with gpp reports we can eliminate those mistakes and personalized advice can be given now i am able to differentiate between gentle parenting and awareful parenting recently i have addressed 60 plus business people crowd about journey towards a harmonious life in which i have discussed about mhi uh, ikikai holistic health brain functions and gbb from the crowd a professor who is a professional speaker complimented me with some great words and i even got a invitation to the college which he was going to address and i even got a chance to explain about gbp they were impressed to know about the gbp concept and uh, were willing to take the next steps which we uh, which will make them uh, closer to it after doing my uh, sd 2.0 i am planning to proceed with the formalities i agree that these are the social transformation that is taking place nowadays i really thank god for giving me this wonderful opportunity to grow with gbb god bless this opportunity to only those who can utilize and who is capable of touching others life as well i feel more responsible to give back to the society that is my purpose satisfaction and my ikigai because of the time constraint i couldn't explain all the experiences i have learned while doing counseling but it is an absolute bliss to feel others feel and help them heal grow and flourish i am learning and growing day by day thank you sir for this wonderful opportunity here is the uh, feedbacks from um, parents i'll just read it out respected rajni ma'am i am ramya balaji mother of nikita balaji who got to know the information about gbp and was able to do my daughter tested on gbp test successfully with your guidelines the counseling i got from you was way more friendly and understandable through the gbp and counseling i came to know more about my daughter's positives and negatives i also got some advice to connect my uh, daughter's negatives and improve herself the gpp testing will be helpful in creating a good and successful future generation i would recommend all the parents to get aware of the gpp it can help the parents to guide their children in their own field of interest i am so glad that i got to know about gpp and got counseling from you thank you and one more uh, from uh, vinit i have got this genetic brain profiling test and results were very much correct uh, correcting to our connecting to our character i was able to relate more towards the result and it was helpful to understand better i personally found what are my strengths and what can i develop in myself i would suggest this test to school children as it helps us to find their core strength and take them in the in the path overall it was good to dig into ourselves and very much useful for our future this is a true blessing actually i feel blessed to have the most wonderful people around i was actually nurtured by ex mom i was growing along with my sister who is also ex my cute angel my daughter is also ex my sister in law is also ex my co sister is ex my mentor is also ex my mentee is mr unikrishnan he is also ex very interesting know the uh, this uh, so just wanted to share this slide the path is not a straight line it is a spiral you continually come to things you thought you understood and see deeper truths nobody is superior nobody is inferior but nobody is equal either people are simply unique incomparable you are you i am i it is a great honor to have you all attentive and tuned in 
I thank each one of you for spending your valuable time to be present here and make my self-discovery 2.0 memorable. Also, I like to thank those who didn't attend today. Anyway, they are also adding more values to me through Midna family. Thank you all. It's a great honor to have you all at to have you as a uh, this is a special thanks to my mentor but to have you as a mentor has changed my life completely and for the better i truly appreciate everything you have done for me so far and hope to continue learning from you yes you are the best thank you thank you thank you rajini before we go ahead into the uh, feedback session. I think one Sridhanjali is interested in asking something. Yeah, please go ahead, Sridhanjali. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for your insightful presentation. Just the thing I want to know, can we learn this course, means for genetic profiling and everything? Because I'm from Kolkata and my background is I am a consultant psychologist. Yes. Yes, you can learn this course. Uh, sir can answer, I think. Yeah. Sir? Yeah, yeah, I think you please share your number here. We will we'll get in touch with you. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, please put it in the chat box, your number. Uh, we will we will connect with you. No problems. Yeah. Thank you. Anything anything else, uh, Sunita Anjali? Yeah, thank you. So raise to note down the number. Yeah. Any, anything else you want to ask? No, sir. No, sir. Thank I you. was only concerned about how to learn this course because I'm from Calcutta. Yeah, yeah. No problem. We have online courses there. You can be in anywhere in the world and still learn it. No problems. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you very much, Rajini. And I think uh, we'll go for uh, the feedback. Yeah, please, friends, uh, any one of you would like to give a feedback, please go ahead and unmute and uh, give your feedback. Good evening, sir. Good evening, yep. everyone. Yep. This is Bartika. Uh, congratulations, Rajni ji. It was really a wonderful presentation. And uh, like you have maintained those proper Excel sheets now so that we can definitely understand what dynamics is going in the family. <laughs> so that yes. was really interesting and lovely presentation. Thank and you. all the best for future. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. And one more thing, like uh, you were being 100% reflective. Na? I always admire the spirit in you that, yes, you want to learn something. You want to be uh, like nurture whatever knowledge you can nurture. So yes. That is always there. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah. All the best. Yes, Punita, please. Yes. Rajini, I have rocked today. And Thank it's a very good presentation. And I couldn't join earlier because there was a sudden guest. And uh, from the beginning, I, could not, I couldn't attend. And just 3.15, I came in. I felt guilty too. But I'll see it in uh, YouTube. Uh, really, you have uh, done the session very well. I know you are a good learner. And uh, as we have more of interactions, uh, as everyone says, uh, yeah, you're a reflective person and uh, how, how good is possible. But as uh, as the conversation we do have with each other, you do have lots of insights and uh, the perception uh, of the uh, things, what you see is much more is equal to the other personalities also. And I do know that. And uh, surely you will uh, live your dreams. Because you need to, uh, you have the great thinking that you have to work for uh, social costs. And uh, really this GPP will help this, help you too. And once more, I congratulate you. And you will be rocking further also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah, thank you, Punita. Yeah, anyone else? Sir, yes, Ji, please. Rajni Ji, Namaskar. The excellent uh, presentation and thankfully I had been I could be able to be part of your self discovery one and two uh, huge change uh, in the presentations and pretty extensive work which you have done I am really impressed with the initiatives you have taken uh, excellent uh, mentorship by Punita ji as well now everybody has mentioned that uh, you are a great learner. And the uh, interesting thing is we are also learners, the people who are attending here and who are not there in this session. And now since you have done so many of the uh, profiles, study and understood, understanding uh, taken from them, 
what is that one message which you would give to all of us at this stage learning is a continuous process we can learn from anybody and everybody <laughs> thank you thank you thank you all the best thank you great ma'am <laughs> you thank you <laughs> yeah yeah anyone else right yeah so great presentation rajini thank you uh, i must uh, admit i have been having uh, an impression that uh, for a uh, 100% reflective it takes longer time so i personally feel that your nurturing has been so good uh, also uh, you know enhanced by a mentor who is very cognitive in nature i believe that uh, 100% reflective and you have few r2s okay there is a difference between an r1 and r2 the r2s are much more open than r1 in terms of learning and i found your uh, temporal lobe r2 and r2 and prefrontal r2 and r2 so the the communicating channels of your brain has been uh, comparatively stronger uh, with the service uh, when you compare with the other compartments uh, and it is also a proof that when all the compartments are of the similar family there is a better harmony within one cell and that actually reduces the noise and the conflict between the lobes and thereby it is like a democratic country in which everybody gets an opportunity and a little bit of advantage for the temporal lobe which makes you a speaker and a mentor and a good communicator and that is actually has got really better uh, better out of it it is also told that r2 sir like sponge okay you can pour as much as you want only when you squeeze you will get all that poured inside will come out so you have a great uh, quality probably is very advantageous for this kind of uh, counseling and probably mentoring and i would say parenting is something which will come very nicely because you are dealing with the with the children and how to handle them or probably understand them so the kind of domain that you have taken knowingly or unknowingly probably has helped you to learn from everyone and anyone and everyone around you rather than trying to show that you know better than them i think uh, there is a 0% ego in in your in your thought process i think this is the bone that you are getting though it takes little longer time to get the crux of the matter but i think you don't expose your innocence you just uh, by talking out of the turn or talking before you have grasped fully about the information for example had there been some a1s in your temporal lobe you would have spoken out of turn because of the higher energy there without the right support from the frontal and the prefrontal if whenever they are r1s at r2 so here it is more like everyone is waiting for their turn but they are not really pushing or probably taking too much of opportunity by suppressing the other compartments or the other functions of it so this is a very very you know kind of a very real joint family kind of a situation where everybody understands each other nobody dominates there is no boss and there is no slave there is no superior and inferior and very rightly you said uh, that in the end of your session please do share that last slide because there was a black patch on the on the slide which i could not read in full so wonderful i heard it but i want to see it also there's a wonderful message that uh, it is not that we should prove someone better than the other it is that we have to be exhibiting our natural tendency animals do that very religiously whereas human beings are messing up in the in the name of uh, advancement and growth and superiority and wanting to uh, show oneself better than the others they are they are so busy in proving that they are better than the others in the process they are not experiencing they are not able to understand 
how what way the others uh, others are better off than uh, than them so there is so much of uh, this is where the ego comes and plays it is the bone because without ego you don't have bigger desires to achieve something at the same time without ego you go through life in a very natural way and that's the that's the best part of it is like flowers uh, like any other plants they just bloom naturally and anything that comes naturally is always very graceful people who grow because of their ego somewhere get hurt somewhere feel bad somewhere feel disappointed all the frustrations and all that are coming because we know it is coming out of expectations so when it is 100% reflective there is no desire to prove anyone to, to anyone about themselves nor they are seeking comparing with somebody else and wanting uh, criticizing them or that is where i think you are one of the best uh, brain design especially to handle children and i think if you become a play school uh, owner you will you will rock a lot and probably children will feel so much gifted because this kind of personality is very very apt and ideal where the child children don't expose their ego and that's a place where you will do excellently well without really you know criticizing or complaining about children or the parents whatsoever it is and i don't know maybe because of that god has given you so many x and reflective patterns in your uh, in your nurturing in your environment i don't know you would uh, you would turn out to be a mother uh, god and otter what not in the long run by just being very nice and kind to them uh, sometimes it feels envious to see such kind of personalities because uh, for you the world is not about what is outside it is world is about what i can give and that is why very rightly i really appreciate i don't know how did you get that kind of information and put it across that if you study or if you understand the characteristics of earth that's why we call it mother earth okay so sun is the father and mother is the earth but the kind of uh, you know, motherliness that you show and with the kind of uh, characteristics that earth has it is it is uh, you know people just take it for granted and abuse that is why the same soil has come because soil has never complained done anything harm to us whatever we did it has kept accepted it and it is giving whatever it can give without really punishing people just because uh, they have hurt the hurt its nature and all kind of thing so i think uh, the the qualities of earth the qualities of uh, uh, the creator that's where the creation comes in it is not uh, that your creation comes out of the box and try to think some futuristic and and make all that nonsense i can continue to believe all that cognitive prefrontal fast processes and cognitive potential has done so much harm to this planet sometimes i believe and sometimes i wish that all human beings should have been only reflective so that everybody remains to their true nature but uh, human beings are not to, not destined to uh, exist in the planet for ever so it is giving us that kick the drug the addiction of the ego and that's where we are all becoming crazy and mad and do all the nonsense on the planet and spoiling the whole earth and uh, i think uh, we are all destined to uh, you know perish and we are doing all that that is needed in a way it is needed any product any life that is uh, coming up in this planet has to end in one time or the other so for the mother earth and the universe the human beings are again another life cycle it will have to go through so this is a part of life and probably uh, uh, brain designs like yours is becoming very rare and that is the reason behind so much of chaos and uh, conflicts and all that atrocities that are happening in the planet because less and less reflective patterns are there and that's part of the evolutionary process we cannot uh, we cannot go back we have to only go ahead but thanks to personalities like you you show us what a mother earth can what a reflective personality can uh, do to this planet because definitely many a people will will need such kind of a person who approaches without any expectation and i think uh, i don't know i see you as uh, a god uh, yourself because see we say life is everything or we say life is nothing for you life is nothing people go through in the process of everything they find it life is nothing 
So people go to the extreme of everything. First they think I can do everything in life and finally they realize they can do nothing in this planet. So they go through the life process and then they realize nothingness that we call as a spiritual experience. Okay, spiritual experience is not without having the experience saying I don't like it. You have to go through it and say no, that is not the thing. The truth is uh, the nothingness. So I think the Lord Shiva is being described as the, the uh, uh, extreme nothingness. So, okay, so in your extreme nothingness, everything resides and that's what we call the Sitambara Ragasya as well. So I think you are a personification of a highly spiritual thought process, but because there is an, no ego, it doesn't look like a spiritual, but it is, in my opinion, it is that uh, nothingness that is already you are born with nothingness. So for you, there is no desire and that's actually is the right way of uh, a spiritual, uh, you know, what do you say, experience as well. Uh, so I see a lot of uh, learning from your session. I really uh, envy your kind of uh, understanding, very clear, very simple. When you know more only, you find very difficult to explain and express. But when you don't want to say anything, unless otherwise you are asked, I think uh, you remain uh, a diamond, but doesn't get, uh, uh, you know, uh, exhibited unless otherwise somebody does the polishing part of it. So you don't come and say, you polish me, you polish me. You just be there. Those who want to see the diamond in you can polish you and, and go through the experience. So I would really be very happy to keep uh, meeting you or probably taking an, uh, you know, uh, response from you or a feedback from you on how this, uh, this uh, small axis and the reflective patterns are exhibiting themselves. If you ask me, I will see through my eyes. You have a very plain glass. I have a converging lens. So I tend to uh, see it uh, very uh, narrow down, excluding all that, uh, uh, you know, unwanted things. I try to trim and then show you one small aspect of that as judgmental. Because converging also is a judgmental. But in your case, there is no judgmental. There is no, uh, you know, uh, I would say process centric. There's no much goal centric. So I think... Uh, it's like a pure rain water, okay? I don't want to say uh, water because some waters are, uh, you know, demineralized and processed. You are like a rain water and so pure and so pure. So anything that we see through you will be the reality, in my opinion, okay? If you see something in an individual that's unadulterated, pure, and what I would call it as uh, the truth without any contamination of own perceptions and most of the time, our life is miserable only because we don't understand the truth. We go with my truth and your truth and we keep debating and fighting between each other. And what 100% reflective is a kind of truth that's actually unadulterated to a good extent, we can say, uh, in terms of what you observe and what you see doesn't have any biased opinion about the uh, you know, in human beings around you. So I believe that if you observe and you, you you learn something about, you get a feedback, you learn on your own with that interaction with them, that will be something I can say, ISO certified kind of, you know, no personal opinion, totally unbiased kind of feedback. So I would like to uh, hear more from you. You can take inputs from us, but you should give a feedback because your feedbacks are more uh, unpersonalized and un uninfluenced by your own brain. It's like a uh, play mirror. What goes inside comes out. There is no minification. There is no magnification. There is no converging and there is no diverging. You are really being a mirror of what the other person. So excellent communicator, I would say. If somebody says that, you would ditto communicate to others without put, not putting any masala or any personal opinion and choices of your own thought process. So I believe in a way, uh, very blessed you are. You would, maybe the world may be not really appreciating in certain areas, but I think uh, you are living a very peaceful life and probably the guy, uh, life wants to, God wants to give you some different kind of experience. So he has given you a lot of homework for you to do, but I know you, are, you will not uh, blame, you will not curse yourself, you will not say why I am suffering like this because your personality is mother's earth personality and you won't grumble and you will not complain about it. You will go through as if 
I am given some task, I'll do my task. That's the true uh, outcome of a 100% reflective karma yogi. So you will achieve. I sometimes believe karma yoga is the most easiest thing to do in this planet because you need not suffer because of an unwanted conflicts that come between your all the brain lobes. So very clear, you know that this is a task you are given and you do it. And by doing that uh, uh, karma, the action, actually uh, uh, you achieve that's, that uh, surrendering and that uh, you know blessing, that uh, self-realization that you would be very nice and happy to have you in our family. Because whenever I say somebody is reflective, I should, I should have some example with whom they, should, they can understand. You should uh, uh, talk on how a 100% reflective person first thinks, how takes information. When it comes to conflict, how do they approach? And I will be happy to hear from you, Rajini. All the very best. I think uh, now uh, you, will, you will be a, a mentor on your own. You will be a consultant on your own. We are there to give you inputs as much as you need. But you should build your own conversation and connect and communicate. And I think you will be a great mentor of a different uh, kind. I think I'll, I'll continue to refer you as a you know, model a counselor with 100%, uh, uh, you know, all the 100%. But I have a very, very uh, you know, uh, addiction and a kind of preference towards 100% reflective because that is where you can learn without any adulteration. So thank you very much. And I appreciate your uh, presentations uh, and, and your session today. All the very best. Take care. Bye-bye. See you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, thank you. Okay, friends, let us meet tomorrow for another self-discovery 3.0 by Suresh Ramratnam.